Okay. I am recording, so let's get started. Okay. New section. Uh, notice the title, right equations, and point slope form. It's a new form. Okay. We'll look similar. It's just a little longer. We need two things, and it's in the name of it. What do we need? Point and slope. Okay. Point as in X, Y coordinate. Okay. Yes. Yes. Positive, negative, anything that can be graphed up there on that, that graph right there. Okay. This first example is going to seem pretty easy because it is. Okay. Um, do I want you to write all this down? Yes. I have very little notes. Okay. Two examples like I did yesterday. Okay. So here we are. Here is point slope form. Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. Everybody, please take note of the subtraction signs. Okay, that should look familiar, uh, like slope. Remember, it has subtraction in it. This is part of your point. X1 is part of your point. That's what this means here. And again, I wrote it in red here, but what do you need? Slope and your point. Good. This is basically just a continuation and a little review of what we did yesterday. Okay, that's why tomorrow it's a great day to review. Okay. And a good stuff to quiz on, which is Thursday. All right, don't you see how it's a little longer? Okay. Just a little longer. Uh, so let's do an example. Write an equation in point slope form for a line that passes through. Here's your point, 3, negative 2. And I've labeled the x and the y with a slope of 1 fourth. Uh, hey, just a reminder, fractions aren't bad. Okay, rise over run. They're, they're actually good. Okay. Um, I'm telling you in this example, there's no math here. We're literally just putting it in the equation. So let's check to make sure we have everything we need. Do we have a slope? Check. Do we have a point? Yes. So everybody see? All right. Use point slope form, and there we go. There's one thing I need you to uh, change for me in the answer. Does anybody want to take a guess on what it could be? Tyler. Yes. Y minus negative 2 is simply... And the highlighted is your answer. Again, no math. All we did was we just put it in two point slope. Is that all you have to do? For this one, yeah, example two's got a little more umph to it, but it's kind of review. But is it like any math? Exam? We'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there, I promise. I need us to look at something. So when you're done, um, I need all eyes up here. All right, so when you finish writing this, I need you to look up here, okay? What we're gonna do at the end of class will be what I'm getting ready to talk about, okay? I'm talking about the point here, which is three, negative two. This point was written in this equation. Y'all see it? All right, because in the formula, what operation do we have here? Subtraction. That's a part of it. So look at X. In my point, is three positive or negative? Positive. Here it's positive. Do you see it here? Well, it's negative because of that right there. So the sign doesn't change. The formula is negative. Does everybody see? 
Okay, it's really important. Let's look at the why. Is the why positive or negative? Yeah. Negative, okay. Tyler told me a minute ago, two negatives make it what? Positive. So, based on what I just said, why does this say y plus 2 when it's negative? Yeah. Okay. Why am I going over this? At the end of class, I'm going to give you equations like this, and you're going to have to tell me what the point is. Okay? It's not hard. In fact, it shouldn't be hard. You just have to remember in the formula is a negative. So when you have x minus, okay, we'll get there. I just need you, don't look at me like I have 10 heads at the end of class, okay? y plus 2 actually means y is negative, okay, because in the formula it's negative, okay? One more example, and then I am done. <clears throat> For now. I forgot. Okay, example two. Write an equation in point slope form. Oh, what's the next word? And highlight it in orange. What does that say? Slope intercept. Well, you know what that is. We've talked about that for about three weeks now. So you have two answers for this one problem. Point slope. And then you're going to take that and put it into slope intercept. You're going to be pleasantly surprised. It's not hard. For a line through 0.51 with a slope of negative what? Three. Three. Good. Okay. I'm going to write this step by step. And when you do your classwork in a minute, just like yesterday, I want to hear pages moving, notebooks flipping because you're going to use these as a guide to do your classwork and hopefully start your homework, okay? This first part's easy. I need a point and a slope. Don't I have both of those? Point, slope, check. So use your point slope form. I even wrote it here. You need a slope and a point, check and check. Here you go. y minus 1 equals negative 3, parentheses, x minus 5. Any math there? No? Do I need to rewrite anything? This looks good. It's highlighted this is the answer to point slope. This is all you do. Okay? Step 2. Look at all that goodness. Now we got to do slope intercept. To write this equation into slope intercept, intercept, start from point slope. Two steps. Distribute, then solve for y. What am I distributing? Three. Negative 3. So it would be 3x and times negative 5, which is negative 15. Okay, don't forget the negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 5 is perfect. Here it is. There's your step 1. Remember, distribute chapter 1. And there you go. This is what Josiah just said. Now I have one more step. Look at this. What's in the way here? Right. I want y by itself. So you're going to add 1, right? Because y minus 1, I just need to move it over. There you go. something real quick before I give you I'll I'll, I'll lift this back up no, let's see
Look at that highlighted equation. Does everybody see it? Tell me the point that is in this equation. What's the point? Five, one. Remember, in the formula, it's minus, so you're going to take five comma one. Okay, I need y'all to really get that because I it's, I can't say it any other way. Okay, the formula is, where is it? There it is. All right. Uh, go to your books. Page 236, I want you to do number 13. It's like my example one. Please don't graph the directions in the book say graph. We're not doing that until the end. And number 19, which is like my example two, please don't do standard form. You're welcome. Okay. The directions in the book say point slope and slope intercept, but do not do standard form. Okay. So 19 will have two answers. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Number 13, does anybody want to, no, no math here, you might have to switch the signs. Kenna, what would you get for 13? Excellent. All right, so here is 13. Right there. 19 had two parts. The first part is point slope. Has anybody got that one? Maddie. Um, four minus nine equals negative six and um, parentheses x plus nine. Good. Yeah. So here's the point slope. And to write it into slope intercept, you start here. What number do I distribute? Six. Negative, negative six. six. You're right. You're right. And you end up here. Negative six times x. Negative six times nine. There you go. There's one number in the way. I got to move it over. Negative nine. You see it? So I'm going to add nine to both sides. Okay. And you end up with negative six X minus 45. Just a refresher. Negative 54 plus nine. I didn't. You're still negative, but it's negative 45. Okay, and it's not so bad, is it? Just two steps. Distribute that slope, and then you got to move that y over, okay? All right. Everybody got a piece of paper uh, that's graphing? We are going to do this now. We're going to do one and two together. I got it. Mr. Tyler. 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 Mr. Y'all are the best. Y'all, everybody gets a piece of candy before you leave, okay? Okay. I'm going to do number two first. Okay, so let's all go to number two. There's a reason. You'll see. Uh, all right. Graphing. I need point and a slope. Easy. What's my slope? That's the easy one. Negative five. Negative five. Okay. Does anybody want to take a guess? Kenna, what's my point? One and four. That is correct. Everybody look at that right now. 
Remember in the formula, it's subtraction or negative. So this one stays true. Same with the four over here. This four stays four. Okay. Hey guys, look at look at me real quick. If this was y plus four, y would not be positive four, but it would be negative. negative. Do you see now? Thank you. First and second period struggle. Okay. Those are done. Now here's your steps. Uh, plot your point. One, four. Do that now. Uh, write one up four. So you're going to use your slope. Rise over run. Uh, so you have negative 5 over 1 or, let's see what y'all remember, 5 over, that's it. Okay, so you're going to start here. I'm going to go down 5 to the right 1. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to go back to my point. Now I'm going to go up 5 to the left. And there's your line. Okay. Just look at the title of this sheet, graphing from point slope. As usual, we need our point and our slope. So go back to number one. Guys, put your iPad up. Let's do the easy. What is the slope? That's the easy. Negative three. All right. Now, let's look at x first. Do you see x plus one? So x is? Yes. All right, you see the other side looks different. Say it louder. Doesn't have one, therefore y is zero. All right, step one, graph point negative one zero. And you're there. Step two, start at negative one, zero, and use your slope, rise over run. Our slope is negative three over one or three over negative one. So I'm gonna go down three to the right one, down three to the right one. I'm going to go back to my point and go up three to the left. And I'll stop there. Very similar looking line. Okay. I'm going to write your homework. Um, I have several notes. They're there to help you, so please make sure you read what I'm writing. Okay? Here is your homework. I'll put it here. 6, 8, 14, 16, 20, and 26. Uh, for 8 and 26, you're going to need to find M first. So that should tell you you're given two points, okay? Please don't graph or do the standard form for the bookwork. And no graph or standard form. And you also have the back of this paper. So everybody turn it over. You have three and four. 
Okay, this is also homework. And you are free to start it right now, okay? Uh, especially if you got basketball, football, whatever, get as much done in the next six minutes as you can, okay? I have updated LMS and Renoir.